So now I'm going to explain how we can calculate delta at C given the values of delta HF. So let's write the equation over here. So we have ethene which we can combust in oxygen to give us carbon dioxide and water. Let's balance this equation first. So if you've got two carbons on that side, so you put a two there. Four hydrogens on that side, so we put a two there. So you've got six oxygens over here, so we put a three there. This is an unknown, so I'm going to call this delta at C. Now we're given the values of uh, delta HF, so we're going to put the construct a balanced equation for delta HF first. So we're going to write the elements in your standard state. So we have carbon as a solid plus hydrogen as a gas plus oxygen as a gas. Now we've got two carbons on that side and four hydrogens, we put a two there and we've got six oxygen, so we put a three there. Now these elements can form both CO2 and water and ethene and oxygen. So our arrow will go from this line upwards of CO2 and water and again it goes upwards from this line to ethene and oxygen. This represents the entropy change of formation of CO2 and water. But before you add them, you need to make sure you multiply the CO2 value by 2 and the value for water as well by 2. This side represents the entropy change of formation of ethene. Now it also represents the entropy change of formation of oxygen. But if you look at this equation over here, we have oxygen as a gas in this elemental state and it still remains as a gas in its elemental state. So essentially this conversion is equal to zero. Therefore, we only look at the entropy change of the formation for ethene on this side. So let's look at uh, two rules for the reaction. So if you try to find two sets of arrows that do not oppose each other, you have this arrow going this way and this arrow going this way which do not oppose each other and on this on the other side you have this arrow which doesn't oppose anything. So your two roots around the reaction are this one over here which I'm going to call as root 1. So root in root 1 we go from the elements in the standard states to ethene which is then combusted to give you CO2 and water. Thus, in root 2, we go directly from the elements in the standard states to CO2 and water. So, root 1 is equal to root 2. So, I'm going to call this 2 and this entropy change of formation is. One. So in root 1 we have delta HF1 which represents the entropy change for ethene which is and then we add that to the entropy change of combustion which is our unknown value and this is equal to entropy change of formation which includes entropy change of formation for CO2 and water. And now if we rearrange our equation, we get delta Hc is equal to delta Hf 2 minus delta Hf 1. So there you go. So that's how you can actually calculate the entropy change of combustion given the entropy changes of formation. If you have any more questions about Hess's law, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me using the comment box below. And in the next video, I'll try to upload some practice problems that you can try and do yourself to make sure you've actually understood Hess's law. Thanks for listening.